Hi guys, this is the third video in my lovers and recommendations series that I'm doing. This one's going to be all about medicines, teething products and dummies. So I'm going to jump straight into it with dummies. When Poppy was born, we had a bit of an issue with a decent dummy. We tried a few varieties. We had Tommy Tippe. She had a starter set, that's where we bought all of the bottles, steriliser, etc. in one, which came with a dummy and we tried her with that and she did take to it when she was born. I, I remember packing that one in my hospital bag, but after that she just really wouldn't have it. Another variety that she would not take to, my, my sister-in-law got Poppy this when she went on holiday. Um, and I'm just using it purely to explain what I mean. The brown old fashioned teats Poppy just will not take to. The, as I said with the Tommy Tippy we did, when I was pregnant I bought a three pack of Tommy Tippy dummies and they were quite expensive as well for a three pack and she didn't take to those either. In the end just out of frustration fed up of not being able to find one i got some mam dummies and these are the ones that poppy had when she was newborn she doesn't use these ones anymore but they look like this they're just very flat i think it's called orthodontic i'm, I'm not too sure because I've, I've threw the packaging away but she will, we've found out, only take to the clear sort. And yeah, she loved these dummies. What I do love about the mam dummies is the box that they come in. If you were to buy these, don't throw it away because what you do is there's a fill line just here and you put water in it, you put the dummies in it and close it up. And then this can be used then as a travel travelising system. Um, it just goes in the microwave and you can stabilise the dummies on the go, which I think is a really, really good idea. I always keep this. I didn't actually mention in my changing bag video because I was using it at the time. But I always keep one of these and a spare dummy with me in my changing bag as well. So when Poppy was six months old, we changed to the six month plus variety of mam dummies. The difference being that the teat is slightly larger. Again, it's still a clear one, so she took to these really well. These are actually from two different packs. I have two like this. One's silver, I think, um, with this type of frame structure around it. And then the other one I had is two packs like this. So I have a clear one and this one. Um, these are frameless and the reason that I bought these when I come on to talk about the medicines is when Poppy was once really congested and couldn't breathe she was getting really frustrated because Poppy will only use a dummy to go to sleep with which I am quite happy about so when it comes to getting her off a dummy I'm hoping it won't be too hard but because she was trying to sleep and couldn't breathe through her nose she was breathing through her mouth with these sort and it was just, she was getting ever so frustrated. So I bought these frameless ones because all this is open space so she could still breathe through her mouth, if that makes sense, while she was sucking it. So I would definitely, definitely recommend mum dummies. And again, those come with the microwave sterilising box. Um, this dummy clip, like I said, Poppy usually only uses a dummy to go to sleep with. But if we are out and about, um, and I do take a dummy with me, this is a Asda Little Angels dummy clip. So this end clips onto wherever you need to clip it to. And luckily enough, this, they have like soft silicone ring on the end. Luckily enough, this clips to the mam dummies as well. So, so next, let's talk medicines and healthcare I suppose. 
The first thing that I would definitely recommend getting to any parent is the Tommy ETP. I'm sure other brands do other versions and it's just a health care kit. So you get a comb, a brush, um, some nail clippers, a toothbrush, some little emery boards, a thermometer, which is always useful to have some nail scissors and a nasal aspirator nasal aspirator if you don't know what it is when a baby is really ill and congested and their nose is bunged up this part goes into the nose you take a big squeeze before you put it in the nose and as the as it fills with air um it pulls the not <laughs> there is no other way to say it it pulls all of the stuff that's bunging their little nose up it gets it out so as much as it's disgusting <laughs> to use it does make me gag a little i am very tickle stomach to where things like that are concerned but needs must and i definitely think a, a little kit like this is always worth having around Secondly, I mentioned the Mam Dummies, the um, frameless one, when I says the once Poppy was really congested. Now, when I say she was really congested, she was poorly for a good 10 days with a cold and it was horrible. It was horrible for me, it was horrible for her dad, it was horrible for everyone to see her in the way that she was. She was suffering really bad. Um, I started out buying some Snuffle Babe. If you've ever used Vicks Vapor Rub on yourself as an adult, it's basically that but a baby form of it. So I'd definitely recommend rubbing this on their chest if your little one's under the weather. And I also, at the time, was using Calpol nasal drops and they were just... I, they, I, I used them when Poppy was newborn and she got her first sort of cold and they worked them but as she's got bigger and the more that she sort of fidgets when you're putting things in her nose it just wasn't working anymore it was a bit hard to do so I swapped from the drops to the nasal spray and she I mean she still doesn't like having this one but at least I know this one was actually going up and I was rather than running straight out and not doing the job it was supposed to. So yes, I guess you could say I would recommend that one as well. And then finally, my sister-in-law again, the one who got the um, Dummer, Abby, if you're watching, hello. She told me about Calpol plugins. Um, you only have to buy this once Let's open it up and what it does this is so hard one handed what it does is it plugs into the wall it's also got a little night light on it but in here is where you put the refill pads so as when it's plugged in it heats up and releases all of the vapors then into the room and I I think you can only use it for eight hours at a time. Yeah, eight hour night time comfort, clear, easy breathing, lavender, and chamomile. Um, like I said, you only have to actually buy the set once to get the plug in. From there on, you can just buy the refill pads. Calpol, I'm sure every parent knows about Calpol. I buy it in the sachets as well as the bottle. The sachets I use for my changing bag. They're already measured out into 5ml. So you just put them on a spoon and give them to your child. Fever, post immunisation fever, cold and flu symptoms, teething, headache, sore throat, earache, other aches and pains. <coughs> Excuse me. So from Calpot I actually went on to try Nurofen. For the pure fact that Calpol just wasn't strong enough for Poppy while she's been teething. But if she takes after me in any way, paracetamol just does not work on me. It does not do anything. It doesn't even knock the edge off anything I might be suffering. So I don't know whether Poppy's the same as me already. I'm not too sure. But with me, um, ibuprofen works. Paracetamol doesn't. So just out of 
wanting to try i bought the new affirm baby version and it is most definitely stronger because with calpol you can give five mil but with Nurofen you can only give 2.5 every six hours as well calpol's every four but okay so let's talk teething um the first thing i will mention is with teething comes a lot of dribble so first recommendation would definitely be dribble bibs i put these on poppy all the time when she's having a bad spell of dribbling um, this one is a nutmeg range and nutmeg clothing is available from Morrison's and Kiddy Care, I believe. And this one, excuse my leg, <laughs> this one is from Asda. So just showing you the difference, that one's more like a cowboy kind of shape as where the Asda ones are a real triangle. Um, but yeah they soak up the dribble and then i just change them and put a fresh one on after the dribble comes red cheeks sore gums pain so i was using bongella baby bongella and in my opinion it's absolutely crap it just doesn't do a thing so my friend told me to try this Dentinox teething gel I personally still feel like this one's crap it works for a tiny little while but Poppy's more more concerned with trying to eat this than actually letting me rub it on so I don't know if that's got anything to do with it but either way I've mentioned these in my what's in my changing bag video these are Ashton and Parsons infant powder uh, traditional herbal medicine products used for the relief of teething pain, symptoms associated with teething such as sore and tender gums, flushed cheeks and dribbling based on traditional use. These have been around for absolute years and when I actually went to the pharmacy to discuss what would probably be best for Poppy to have, the lady in there, she was... 55 years old i think i can't remember what she said she was definitely in her 50s and her child is now 30 and she told me about these 30 years ago she was using them and i must say these are the um their sachets each one of these is already measured out to the amount that you need so you just literally rip it open and tip it into baby's mouth and these are actually working for us at the moment, so I would recommend them. Poppy has her first tooth, it's on the bottom. And since using these, and maybe the Dentinox, but I actually put it <laughs> down to these. I think these work. This with the Nurofen is what worked for us while that bottom tooth was coming through. Now that it is through, her cheeks aren't as red as they were and her gums are tender. But she's also not dribbling as much either. But her tongue is constantly drawn to it and sometimes she does get pain with it. It's literally only just come through. You can just about see it. It's not through completely yet so I know that it's not over. <laughs> can I just say as well that if anybody does have a recommendation for a teething product more the sort of gel form to rub on the gums that does work then please let me know leave a comment below or get in touch with me for that um if you've got children then you know how horrible teething is and i don't just mean on the child obviously teething is really bad for the child toothache when you're an adult is horrible believe me i've had my fair share of toothache i have had a lot of dental work done so I definitely sympathise with Poppy but it's also horrible for the parent and Poppy going from sleeping all through the night for nine hours to not sleeping and just seeing them miserable all the time is it's definitely hard and it has took it out on me a bit I will be honest about that not everything about 
parenting is easy. So if anybody does have or anything, anything that works for teething other than what I'm showing in this video, then please let me know. Okay, so finally to round this video up, I come to my trusted friends. These have got me through the worst of it. This is a newbie teether. This has got all different textures, oh, all different textures, lumps, bumps. It's some parts are soft, some parts are hard. Poppy took to this so quickly and it's definitely something that she likes chewing on. I've also mentioned Sophie the giraffe. Very expensive, I must admit, for a teether which is what I thought when we bought it, but I take that back. It is worth every single penny and then some. Um, Poppy is never not chewing on this thing. She takes it everywhere with her. She's chewing on it constantly. Um, it's easy for baby to recognise. It has a squeak. Um, it's lightweight, so she can pick it up. It's recognisable. There's a whole list of benefits on what Sophie the draft does she is I used to <laughs> I used to look at these and think yeah it's a giraffe and what but now I know that Sophie the giraffe is more than just a giraffe so finally my last item for teething is this dummy um, I'm not sure if it's called a dummy shield. I've I've lost the packaging, so I couldn't actually tell you what they're called. I don't remember, but they are from Tommy Tippe. And what these are, I keep mine in the fridge as well, just so it's nice and cold on her gums. But it fits in their mouth like a horseshoe kind of shape, I'd say. And what I actually like about them is they have these holes. So once that's inside baby's mouth, you can use your teething gel to aim and make sure that's actually going into the right place. And if you see here as well, it is slightly dipped. That's where you can apply your teething gel onto there so that again, it's going where it needs to be. What I like about these as well is the, if you can see all of those dots, um, what it is when baby tries to suckle on this dummy, so basically tries to chomp down on it, it actually massages their gums as well to relieve a bit of the pain that they're in. So as I keep mentioning, Poppy has got her first tooth now. Um, I've not yet started to use a toothbrush on her, although I do have one. Um, what I'm doing at the moment, which is what the health visitor told me to do until she has some more teeth, is put a tiny smidge of some baby friendly toothpaste onto a muslin cloth and just rub the tooth and rub the gums again if you could recommend any sort of toothbrush or ways on looking after baby's teeth i am quite new to that as well at the moment so please let me know that's it for this video guys i will see you in part four thank you very much for watching Bye.